Several new laws went into effect today, from tax cuts to traffic laws. Some of the biggest bills center on education and funding for classrooms. As Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow shows us, the governor held an event in Heber City. Governor Spencer Cox and Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson held a ceremonial bill signing event to call attention to big bills on public education. One includes $700 million in new money. We tried to appropriate it in a way that allowed a lot of flexibility for districts and schools to decide what would best help students. The Utah State Legislature did spend a lot of money on public education this year, but one thing that still has to be worked out, a proposed constitutional amendment that will remove the earmark public education on the income tax, but that's in exchange for other funding promises by the legislature. Our primary goal is to make sure that education funding in Utah is always protected, prioritized, and adequate for our public schools. The Utah Education Association, the state's largest teachers union, says it's still negotiating with the legislature over it. Not part of the event, a new law that goes into effect. It creates a school choice scholarship program at the same time offering teachers a pay raise. It was opposed by the UEA, which blasted it as a voucher bill, but the bill's sponsor says it offers options and students can apply starting next year. Roughly 5,000 students in our state will initially be able to qualify for this. That average is about three students a school. Uh, I view it as a release valve on the system for those parents who are looking for alternative options. I think it's just bad policy for our students and it's bad policy for Utah taxpayers. How that plays out ultimately is yet to be seen, but it's something that uh, UEA opposes. But the teachers union did support a lot of education bills that passed. There were bills to enhance school safety, increasing school counselors, and a big bill to expand all-day kindergarten statewide. Daniels Canyon Elementary has been doing it for five years now. They get to socialize more. They learn how to get along. That's what kindergarten's about. But it gives them the head start, right? They're reading their, um, their letters, colors. Students will be able to wear lays and other cultural items with their cap and gowns at graduation. They just wanted to celebrate their identity as well as this big accomplishment. And so this bill allows students to do that. Another bill requires sports teams across Utah to make religious accommodations for student athletes. I was told to sit out the game because I was wearing a different color and um, leather hijab and I couldn't play for the rest of the game. I feel like if this bill, they see this bill, hopefully they'll be a little bit more kind towards us. In Heber City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.